Figure TV. Folks, um, Dr. Dr. West, and Mrs. 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 Dr. Dr. West, and he hit She reached out to my wife, Sheila. And she said that Dr. West had some things he wanted to discuss based on the tweet he sent out that's caused a, you know, an uproar within some folks on the internet, on Twitter particularly. So, first of all, be sure to wipe your feet. Y'all in the House of Revolution. I want to get into this. Uh, Dr. Cornell West torn apart on Twitter for praising racist neo-Nazi Alexis Navaldi. I told you, it has begun. Salute to the revolutionaries who not letting anybody get away with praising Nazis. You Democrats, I warned y'all yesterday when I brought up the, I told you, that's a Nazi. And we don't look for congressional black Greek freak divine nine coons praising him and calling Putin a dictator who's killed the political activist. No, he hasn't. That's a Nazi. Well, Dr. West fell for the trap as he praised him. And they called him out all over Twitter like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, you praising Hitler now? You said Trump was the fascist. You praising the fascist. But he trying to, you know, wiggle his way out of this on here. But I just want to bring this to y'all attention so I can put it this on my platform that we not going to stand for black uh, 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 so-called leaders of our community to come out and praise Nazis. Not, look, what the whites do, that's on them. Y'all won't be saying y'all representative of the black community, but you praying and you praising people who say what they doing, they doing it for the white race. With that full disclosure, Dr. West, I'd like for you, if it's possible, sir, for you to go ahead and I want you to speak your, your piece on this because you know what this is about. And then, and then I'll, I'll ask some questions, questions after you have had your say. Yeah, the people's upset. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it strikes me that it's quite uh, sad that people want to dictate who you can pray for. See, I'm a free black. We're not talking about pray for. We're talking about praise. And you could have been praying for him this whole time, but you trying to play into a Putin's a gangster, a fascist who's killing his political opponents. No, America is gangster fascist who kills their political opponents. Have you ever heard of Dr. King? Have you ever heard of John F. Kennedy? Have you ever heard of Robert F. Kennedy? Hmm? I want you to go in some of these prisons and see how men and women are being beaten or bru bruised and dying. Every day in these jails all throughout America. But you thought you can get in good with the Jewish elite and those who run this country by getting on the bandwagon of Putin is a gangster. I'm praying for the family. It's a lot of families here you could have been worried about who America is brutalizing them and America is, 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 is starving them and beating them in these prisons. And I'm so glad the power of the revolutionaries now. So we can get right to you and call you out and have you a presidential candidate run on the YouTube immediately. This is your first interview to clear your name. Man, and I pray for anybody I choose to pray for. People can criticize my politics and so forth. But you see, there's an irreducible uh, moral and spiritual witness that's, That's not going to get you out of this, brother. I know you was a high, well-educated, you a highly educated, a uh, 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 well-thought man. But we're talking about the basics here. Meat and bread. Why would you choose to stand with a Nazi fascist? You always talking about you going against fascism. I told, I said this before about you. You just using the word. You just throwing it around. The Black Panther stood against fascism this country. You say this country is seeming like it's going to uh, getting fascist up under Trump. What? Trump wasn't around when the Black Panther, Hewitt P. Then was dealing with fascism. Fred Hampton then was dealing with fascism. Joe Biden is a fascist dictator who is trying to lock up his political opponent right now. Who they taking money. They draining Donald Trump bank accounts. 300 something million here. 300 something million there. On purpose. If Putin was doing that to... One of the people in his country, y'all, he's such a fascist behavior. Hmm? Come on, look in the mirror, Doc. Look in the mirror. Well, part of who I am. So, you know, I put out a little tweet and I say, I pray for the precious family of Nabalny. The people say, oh, he's a neo Nazi. Why you mention him whatsoever? He doesn't deserve any attention. Well, no, hold on, hold on. Let his family pray for him. That's his family business. Why the world got to pray for a Nazi who say, who neo Nazi who say that he want to make sure it's the rise of the white race? 
and that they should rule over us. What is good? But I told y'all, it's enough of us know exactly who he is. Doctor, I don't know. Dr. West, did you actually know who he was? Or did you just get on the clout chasing bandwagon of bashing Putin and fell for the trap that a lot of Boule and Joe Biden them all going to be brought to task about this sooner or later. They on record. They keep talking. He's a political. He was a political prisoner. No, he was a fascist, a Nazi. Well, boy, how they love Hitler. See, Russians don't like fascists. They fought the fascists. They don't like the Nazis. The West are the Nazis. But what's so crazy, even an intellectual like Dr. West think that he can praise a Nazi and get away with it. I don't think so. People can have their opinion about that. But anybody who I think is falsely accused and is either tortured or murdered by the state. Falsely accused? By who? The man was working for the man. It has a laundry list of crimes. The man working for the CIA. Putin didn't falsely accuse him of anything. This is bullshit. It's a lot of people falsely accused here in America. See, once again, doctor, you think people stupid. People know who this man is. You're not talking to, you see those people who went after you on Twitter? Those weren't regular Americans. Those were revolutionaries. Trained, know exactly who he is. You're not getting away with that. Because all you do is tell us morning, noon, and night, Trump is a fascist. He's a gangster. You are praying and sending your thoughts and prayers to a fascist gangster who wanted to rise of the white race, overthrow Putin, and didn't put by the man didn't like Muslims. He wanted all the Muslims ran up out of uh ran up out of Russia. He didn't like Muslims. Hate black people. This is facts. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure we keep talking about this story because we're not gonna let these people get away with this. Not in our face. That's why I brought up all the uh, information about the Azov Battalion in Ukraine being Nazis. They got the nerve, once again, Dr. West fell for it, to come out here and be so elegant about Nazism. Man, we stand against that. Anybody say they want to rule us on behalf of the white race, we got a problem with that. Regardless of their ideology, I pray for their family. Whatever. Did you pray for Hitler? So you're praying for Hitler family? Did you give a damn about I didn't never. I never seen you weep for Hitler. I never seen you shed no tears for Bin Laden family. Huh? Are you praying for the Taliban's family? Hmm? You been thinking about the family of ISIS lately? Get the hell out of here, man. Just focus on him. I had just spent a magnificent uh, now session to with some lies. Brother Marcus Susan and the one and only Pam Africa talking about this dear brother who I love so very much. Mumia Jamal wrote the foreword in 1997. That's why they came for your head right there, brother. Cause that's a real revolutionary. You holding up his book, Mumia, a real revolutionary who is locked up in the in prison right now for standing, you know, for being falsely accused, for being falsely accused of killing a police officer, and being allowed for decades a political prisoner. Pray for him. Thoughts and prayers to him. Revolutionaries mad because you equating the two. Hell no. Women can't stand a bastard like Alexei Navalny who want to rule over us and see our people back in the fields who can't stand Muslims. May I say this again? He hates Muslims' guts. And you, 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 and you saying you putting them all together. Well, revolutionists can't respect that. That brother in prison behind white supremacists in this goddamn country. So... The brother locked up because this white supremacist racist country said he killed a police officer and he didn't. He's a political prisoner. Then you put a you bring up a white supremacist who locked up for terrorist actions who want to bring down Russia and kick out the Muslims and put blacks and minorities back in a place. Lex Navalny. You put him up and put the, him with the brother who has been in prison by people like him. That's so disgusting. That's why people reacted how they reacted. Dr. Cornell was and you seem like you don't understand. It's disgusting. What you tried to do, and I'm glad they they putting you back in your place. That's bigoted and that's hypocritical of you to do this type of disgusting stuff. It's bigoted of you to say Trump is a fascist, then you praise one. Trump is trying to bring back the ticket torch racist, then you praise a ticket torch racist. <coughs> I just don't understand. What um what am I missing here, Dr. West? Forward in 1997, and then was blessed to write forward for writing on the wall. I love this brother. I respect this brother. I want his case to be 
more highly visible. There ought to be an international discussion sustained every day, every week. But you're not doing that. You're doing the international discussion that's sustaining the lies for Alexei Navalny. You were out here praising the Nazi instead of bringing up Brother J Mubi, Mumi Jamal. You could be, you a presidential candidate. You ain't brought him up damn near. I ain't heard you bring him up one time on the big screen. CNN, you talk about Putin is a gangster when this brother right here is locked up behind the gangsterism of America. That's why people piss Dr. West. And that's why I'm making this video. I would have let this go. But Revolutionary saying, cool, could you speak on? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Doctor, uh, with all due respect, Dr. West, we're not going to let you get away with this. Now, I done, I done hipped everybody to Alexi Navaldi. I put that out on my Twitter and I did a video about that so my people would know. Don't fall for that BS. He's a racist bastard who if he ever would have been in power, it would have been bad news for minority, but bad news for blacks, bad news for Muslims. What? Whatever we, whatever we get to praise them type of people, wanting to see them people do good. No, we want to see them people, like, like Malcolm X said, Dr. West is a person who see Master House burning down and pray for, for, to, to, to some water, pray for rain. What Malcolm say? No, we pray for wind to finish it off and burn everything else up. It is a different type. We different type of revolutionaries. And throughout this whole video, he trying to explain himself and trying to make it. And Tim, and Tim Black, shame on you too, brother. I'm not gonna go too much in on you, but shame on you, brother. Because I tell you this, Dr. West don't got the right to praise no white supremacist. Oh, he is running as a black presidential candidate, acting like he for our uh, 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 sub, for for our uh, uh, issues. One issue, one, main one of our main issues is white supremacy, and see, and people talking about uh, 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 whites shall rule forever. This man, Alexei Navalny, is one of the main cats who talk like that. He's praising him. That's a big problem. You can't stand up to that, but every day he talking about Trump. Trump. Trump is a fascist. Then he praising a fascist. Putin went. Putin is anti-fascist, but he called Putin a gangster. Putin family fought the fascists. They died fighting Nazis. It's it like historically he know this, but he don't care. He gonna say anything because he know a lot of our people don't know better. That is a trick of the goddamn elite. The Harvard, the Yale. See, they know historically people is don't really understand what's going on. He know what's going on. He praying on that. Came out to get some democratic points. And the revolutionaries went for his head. So he had to come out here and try to walk it back a little bit. Let's hear a little bit more of what he got to say. Freeing Mumia. I've been dedicated to that for almost 35 years. Not true. Same is true with this brother here. Brother Imam Jamal Abdullah Al Hamid. H. Rap Brown. H. Rap Brown. H. Rap Brown. Another one of our revolutionary brothers. H. Rap Brown. They say it's the first brother actually did a rap. But. They say he killed a police officer. I remember looked over his case a few years back. We're going to start getting back on all that type of stuff on this channel too, y'all. We got a lot of work to do. But. They say he killed a police officer. He said he didn't do it. Now, there was some evidence that looked like he, did, he didn't do it. But he a political prisoner locked up. And that's why revolutionaries are pissed at you, Dr. West. I dare you bring up a legendary uh, revolutionary like H. Rap Brown, goddammit. And then at the same time be praising Alexei Navalny. That's why I say you couldn't be at the table with these revolutionaries. They look at you like you crazy. You can't be wanting to take a man off this earth and then pray for his soul. But we, we can't win a war like that. That's why we will always be conquered by our enemies because they see the weakness. They see the weakness. But, like I say, I'm so glad that we have these platforms and it's a platform like Cofigur TV News to bring it to y'all and let y'all see what's going on. I, like I say, because some of y'all respect Dr. West. I have respect for Dr. West's uh, 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 anti-war stance. He's real strong on that. Some of his Palestine stance is lovely. But... His calling Putin a gangster, that is outrageously wrong. Putin has saved his country and rose them up out of poverty and has went after the gangsters, the ol Jewish oligarchs who was ripping his people off. All that he kills reporters and he killed Man, this is all myth. Man, now it's some, probably be some backhanded stuff going on, man, but he man run a country, man. That man don't run no store. That man don't run a restaurant. That man don't run a neighborhood. 
all historically all successful countries, you would have to have some very powerful people who, hey, things had to be done when it had to be done for the people to survive and, 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 and live, especially in the times of the American beast. Are you kidding me? The fourth right? Putin and people put down the third right, the Nazis. Dr. West is siding with his brothers, his sisters in Ukraine. The fascist Azov Battalion. See, this is disgusting. This stuff do not pass the smell test. Now, listen, we don't give a damn about our enemies. We want to survive. We don't give a damn if they don't survive. Alexis Duvalde was an enemy of our people. If he, if he, had, it, if he had it his way, we wouldn't even exist. So if the Most High removed him from this earth, that's a blessing. That's one more bastard we don't have to worry about. I don't, I don't see how Doc don't see it that way. Cuff food. Follow me.